Kenya, like most African countries, is experiencing rapid urbanization. In Nairobi, the capital city, over 60% of the population live in informal settlements or slums where access to basic healthcare and education services is poor. Children, and in particular the very youngest, are the most vulnerable to unhealthy environments, poor nutrition and lack of resources. This means they are denied the opportunity to reach their full potential. Naitwa Judy Nyawera na ishi hapa baba dogo na ninafanya kibarua kwa kampuni inaitwa Cassons na nafanyanga kuna times nafanyanga shift day na night shift eh, na alternate eh, na niko na watoto wawili so huyu mdogo venye alifikisha 6 months nikaamua nimlete hapa juu nilitafuta wasichana sikuweza kupata Eh, nikaleta hapa kwa dekia. Eh, kwa mara nyingi siku hizi imekuwa kupata wasichana inakuwa ni ngumu sometimes. Sometimes unapata mtu trust, unapata ame tunaona vitu mingi kwa picha wenye wasichana wanafanya watoto. So tumekuwa na hiyo fia. So tuna prefer dekia. Okay, mtoto akiendelea ku grow. Kama hapa unaona kama hapa Trinity wako na classes to hii anaendelea grow ana, akiendelea ku learn so mi kama mi kivyangu mi na, naona ataendelea tu cuz hapa ni mahali atakuwa amezoea so atakuwa na shida kubaki oh ningependa at least kila mtoto aweze kwenda shuleni nataka the best for our kids unajua kama mzazi una una nini mtoto the best ya yeah, kwa maisha yake <tos> Nilikuwa nawapeleka kwa daycare ya mtu tu personal kwa nyumba. Lakini nikaona hawana malezi bora nikakuja nikawabadilisha. Nikawaleta hapa walikuwa wamerudi chini kabisa sababu hata walikuwa wamekosa lishe bora. Sababu isa zingine mimi mwenyewe napata kazi sina kazi. Napata chakula na kosa, wanashinda njaa. Nikiwapeleka kwa deiki ya mali na wapeleka na wapeleka na chakula enye. Watakula ikiwa baridi, wanakuja wanapato na diarrhea, wanaanza kuhara. Haya, biashara, ukitaka kufanya biashara, ndiyo biashara inachanga moto zake. Kwa sababu, uwezi ukapata vile unafikiria. Sa zingine kuna changa moto, kwa sababu kuna hata wale wazazi wakileta watoto. Sa zingine kulipa hiyo karo inakuwa ni ngumu kidogo. Sasa mnaona ni kama mnavurutana na mzazi. Lakini pole pole anaileta kidogo kidogo. Our job is to try to understand the environments in which these baby cares are working and to figure out how to support those efforts, how to improve the quality. It's not just about finding a place for the children to be, it's also about finding a way to nurture their development in terms of their health, in terms of their nutrition, in terms of the education, in terms of, uh, of uh, protection. Uh, there is need for non-government organizations, the CPOs, to work with the county governments. For example, if it is Nairobi, to work with the Nairobi county government, to try and provide services for these children. As you understand, early childhood is interdisciplinary and therefore it requires a multi-sectoral approach in tackling issues that affect young children, especially in non-formal ECD centers. Building Brighter Futures, a coalition formed by the Aga Khan Foundation, Kidogo and the Institute for Human Development at the Aga Khan University, together with community partner Daraja, has embarked on a program to support innovative early childhood development in the informal settlements of Kibera, Kangemi and Babadogo. We are now, as practitioners, pushing for government to put in more money into early years. And the zero to three is actually the time when uh, uh, the child really can grasp so much. Okay? And we know by the time the child is 80%, I mean three years, 80% of the brain 
is matured. So the more interaction the child has, the more exposure the child has, the more language the child hears, the better is for child. And this goes throughout his life because that also means that the child, when the child starts school, he will be doing or she will be doing much better. These initiatives are focusing on the holistic development of the child and emphasize health and nutrition, play-based learning, positive discipline, creating child-friendly spaces and financial sustainability of the institutions providing the care. Kidogo is a social enterprise that provides high quality, affordable early childhood care and education to support healthy growth and development of young children living in urban slums. So our Kidogo way, our philosophy is we believe in play-based approach, child-centered, where we are able to develop the different domains in the child and the child can be able to develop different skills and competencies so that the different domains in the child can be fully developed. kuna watoto watatu wanasoma hapa kidogo mmoja kwa pre unit mwingine nursery mwingine baby baby care kazi yenye wanafanya hapa ni mzuri sababu mtoto wangu mkubwa nilipomleta hapa hakuwa active but for now nimeona ame improve anajua kusoma so nimeona wanapanua yani ukileta mtoto hapa mtoto anapanua upongo anakuwa chap chap anakuwa na time ya kucheza na wengine you see the way you've uh, set your class. I'm assuming this is your class now here. These are your learning centers where you go back here. Now what we are doing at this particular session is we are helping our teachers to come up with learning centers. Learning centers will help the teacher because our space is small. So we want the children to have hands-on. I like something that has not been happening in most of the programs in Kenya. From morning to now, we've been learning about material development and uh, designing a classroom using the learning centers. So we had to do it theoretically, and now we, we, they, are, they are still doing it practically. Okay, previously in our schools, we never had those learning centers. And uh, I've realized that if the children are able to go at a point in the class and be able to manipulate uh, the materials they find there, they go to a reading corner, they're able to pick books, flip through, read the pictures. Uh, they go to another corner, their materials, they discover what is there. I think that one uh, provokes their imagination. They're able to learn more on their own, even without much of the teacher's support. Kidogo is piloting an innovative hub and spoke model to sustainably deliver high quality early childhood programming to families living in these communities. Using the hub as a center of excellence, Kidogo partners with local women who they call mamapreneurs to improve the quality and sustainability of their own baby care centers called spokes. Kidogo provides them with training, mentorship, and ongoing quality assurance, as well as business support and microloans to grow their centers. My role is to go around the spokes, identify their needs, see if they are having any challenges, and then if we identify any challenges or needs, we go sit together with the rest of the group yeah. and strategize on how we are going to help them. Hey, Eunice. Yes. 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 Yes.
challenge yenye nimekuwa nayo tu ni kuconvince wazazi mm. ya kwamba i want to start a food program mm. sasa walikuwa like ah watakula nini mm. but when i introduce my timetable mm. your menu timetable walikuwa comfortable mm. and they are doing good how are the finances taking you are you able to track them yeah mm -hmm. through that a toolkit the ear tracking kit i was given mm. they're really helping me mm. because each evening i have to record what i have done mm. what i have spent mm. so that by the end of the month mm. i know what i'm doing what i'm getting mm. yeah across town in babadogo community-based organization daraja a partner of the Aga Khan Foundation has adopted a similar approach to ensuring early childhood care. It aims to build the community's capacity to tackle issues affecting childhood development such as poor health and nutrition. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Jena Warlord. Mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Mugure. Ah ile kazi ninafanya ni kazi ya kulinda watoto. Hiyo ndio kazi ninafanya hapa kwa kijijini. Tangu watu wa daraja waje Nimeona nime, nimepata manufaa kutoka kwao. Nimeona wamenisaidia hata mimi nimepata mafunzo kutoka kwao kwa sababu hapa awali nilikuwa hata sina vile watoto wanaenza, wanaweza enda choo vizuri. Waliniletea poti, wakaniletea mando, wakaniletea drum nyingine hapo. A good daycare care uh, should provide enough space for children to play freely. Uh, also, it should also be very clean. Hy uh, hygiene should be very much observed. And also, uh, a good daycare also should have enough materials for the children that you are bringing up to be able to play well. That one will also build up their physical, uh, their, their physical growth. Uh, the reason why the, the parents bring their children to my daycare, first of all, is courtesy. You talk to your parents with a lot of courtesy and also understanding your parents. That one draws them to bring their child to me. The health community, uh, they, they help us actually because they come to visit our children right in the daycare. And when they come to visit our children in the daycare, they check on uh, maybe the health, the growth, the development of the child. There's that linkage Aga Khan has come with, linkage with the health care, with the health facilities, in that in case uh, of any illnesses, these children are able to be attended to the facility. And the facility, people can also be able to come and visit the daycare centre. CHV is the same as CHW, Community Health Worker. I deal with many things. I help the children, orphans, widows, and I engage in nutrition. When it is a big thing or just a serious information, I just refer where she can get the, she or he can get help. Maybe if it is the sickness, I just refer to the city council clinic. And if it is a matter of domestic whatnot, maybe violence, I just send the person to the chief. So books become a very important agent for a child to uh, encourage language development, okay, as well as the enjoyment, the fun is very, very important. So for this session, what I'd like us to do is, we are going to try and make as many picture books as possible using different pictures. Emphasis is placed on developing a child's all-round health and skills by encouraging play with the use of local materials to stimulate and teach the children. Can I borrow your scissors? We are trying to make some books because we have come to learn children as they grow we are supposed to introduce them to books so that their minds when they are still young they start to know about this and this like rivers you told them this is Mount Kenya so it is part of building their mentality.
I'm so happy. You all manage, each of the clusters manage to get the books, okay, and also practice how to use books. So you can see, you know, in a little time you sit here as a group, you manage to do so much. I have learned about how to take care of the small babies from six months, how to cope with them. I mean, every child has different things he or she wants. So we have been told how to handle each child with special needs. Another day draws to a close, and Jane Alivista returns home with her two children. The innovations being carried out by the Building Brighter Futures program are aimed at transforming early childhood in the informal settlements. What will tomorrow hold for the children of Kibira, Kangemi, Babadogo and other informal settlements on the continent? The bold initiatives being pioneered and pursued by the Building Brighter Futures program have the potential to transform the lives of some of the most vulnerable children in urban areas. There is a huge demand in urban areas because of the slums around and all, but we also need to push towards a certain minimum standards because we are really investing in very young lives and we want these children to really optimize in terms of their developments. I'm so excited about it and what I'm seeing in Kidogo is like the pro two programs we already have is to replicate this work or to scale up into other different areas because people need us, people are calling upon us to see how, what, how can Kidogo work with us, how can Kidogo help us to be able to provide a quality program like this one in Kibera. So we better invest in their future or else there will be no future to talk about. Like for the children of Kibera, I hope that in future when they come out of Kibera, when they come out of our centers, out of high school and university, they be people of substance, people who can bring a difference into their society.